So today is Wicket's first day at Doggy District officially for his Happy Dog training module. The first two or three days, we're just going to be getting to know each other more. I have worked with Wicket, as you guys know, but it's been sporadically. Here, we're going to intensify it to like five or six times a day for 30 minutes each session. In this video, we're just working on heel, auto sits, and downs, and uh, turns to the right. Wicket is on my right side. We're turning to the right because that's more difficult. Turning to the left is not more difficult when the dog's on the right side. And as you see, when he auto sits, he's sometimes off where he should be. Now we're doing down stays. He does pretty good here. He gets up there. He gets up once or twice, and I have to correct him right there. I bring him back, put him in the down. He's doing really well. This is our first day. It's not, it's not, um, you know, we don't have a defined training session. I'm just trying to get him used to me there. I'm, I'm able to see him on my uh, phone and I have him do a sit stay here. Same thing, sit stay. Then I use the touch command to have him come to me, but I make him sit before he gets to my hand. All right, so over here, I'm going to start teaching him middle which is a fun recall. And again, we don't have a set uh, schedule of what we're going to do the first two or three days. I'm just getting him used to me and getting him uh, comfortable with allure and also getting him comfortable on working and building up uh, training sessions. Like this one here was for about 20 minutes. The one indoor today was 30 minutes, then 30 minutes. Here we're working on middle some more inside because it got too hot outside. And in the background you see another dog that I'm training. But he picks up middle pretty quick. He's very attentive, which is great. A few more middles. And then I don't know exactly what we're doing next, so I'm just watching just like you. Oh, I do start to move. So it's not like a static middle. He's going to eventually, you know, he's got to get used to me moving around, getting some more treats. People are walking by, which is great because that's a, a great distraction. And he focuses on me. And we should be doing something else. I think it's a uh, place next. But I don't know how long this middle thing goes. I know it probably goes for like 10, 15 minutes in real time but i sped it up here still doing middle and then i toss um a piece of kibble out so he can get it so we can reset i am just using his kibble good boy okay so i think this is place and touch and then middle i do uh recall him with touch you see my hand go out, but I don't actually let him touch my hand because I want him to go to middle. I don't want there to be, I want there to be a continuous flow. Here he's getting a little tired because you start seeing him getting confused. He's not going to whichever hand, and that's okay. It's a lot for him to take in the first day. But for the most part, he does get it right. Here we're teaching him place again. And here we're working on under. Under is good if you want to bring him to a restaurant. He can go under the seat, on between your legs and the seat, or under the table. He gets this down pretty quick, and you notice that I'm constantly rewarding him. This is just in the beginning, like the first 30 days. I know I only have him for 10 days, but if you continue working with him, like the first 30 days doing this, you can wean him off the... The reward, which is kibble, and he'll have this down. There he goes in between my legs. I don't, I'm not really correcting him. I'm not really saying uh uh or anything like that. It's because this is his learning stage. If he gets it right, he gets rewarded. If he doesn't, I just lure him 
where he's supposed to go and you see me using my hand for touch to get him close to the chair and then through the chair I use my hand again with the reward and again we have people walking by in the windows and he focuses on me very well the reason why I am rewarding him constantly when he's already in that down is because I want him to stay at that down.